Hi everyone and welcome to the Bozar SDK for Unity Quick Start Guide. My name is Philippe Baba. I'm a senior developer advocate for Bose and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to get started with our Unity SDK. So you can find our Unity SDK over at our Bozar downloads page which you can find at developer.bose.com. When you scroll to the bottom you'll see the Bozar SDK for Unity downloads. I already have the 4.0.1 beta downloaded to my desktop. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to import that. I have a brand new Unity project open right here. And I'm just going to double click this Unity package. Give it a little time to import. There it is. I want everything, so I'm just going to import all. Going to fast forward through this and let it import. So it takes about two or three minutes to import. But then once you've done that, you have the entire SDK at your disposal. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with a fresh Unity project. And I always like to grab the game tab so I can have a preview window. And I like to drag it in this bottom right since Unity has a very convenient um, editor layout mode. So I'm just going to kind of have it like that. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do is I actually want to connect to my Bozier device. So here I have a pair of frames, Rondo style. So I'm just going to show you what this product is. You might already be familiar with it. So there's sunglasses that pair through Bluetooth to your mobile device. But for our development purposes today, what we're going to do is we're going to use the provided USB cable that is basically the charger for the device. But instead what we're going to do is we're going to hook it up to the computer and we're going to use it as a USB bridge so we can actually communicate directly to Unity. The cable looks like this. So what you want to do is you want to connect it to your Bose frames and then you want to connect it to your computer. You're going to get the connected sound on Windows if you're on Windows. Now the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to go to Assets, Create, Bose Wearable, App Intent Profile. Now what this does, this enables and disables the sensors that we have available to us. So right now we just want the gyroscope and the rotation sixth off. I'm just going to maximize here. And we want to be using 40 milliseconds, for example. And this is all we need to get started now. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to go to Bose, wearable, and I want you to go to modules, connection, prefabs, wearable connect UI panel is the first prefab in there and what this does is this actually allows you to connect to your Bose AR wearable it will list them out and allow you to pair to them and this will also pop up if your Bose AR wearable disconnects it will allow you to reconnect the next thing you should add is an event system we do that by creating an empty game object there's one way to do it type event system as its name add component type in event system and then make sure to click add default input modules now what this is, this actually allows you to click the UI of the connect panel. And the reason why we do this separately is because maybe you already have an existing project that has its own event system. We don't want to mess with that. But if you're working with a new Unity project, you should add an event system and the default input modules. All right, so that's pretty much everything we need to actually connect to a mobile device. But since we're testing in Unity right now, what we want to do is we want to use the USB. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another empty game object and we're going to call this one wearable control and we're actually going to add component and I want to show you where the Bose components lie. So if you clear the search and you go to Bose wearable and then there's wearable control and the only setting we want to change here is instead of debug provider we want to do USB provider and that will actually allow us to connect over USB. And the active app intent profile, we want to select the app intent profile we created earlier. All right. Now, this will actually allow us to connect, but we still need to send some data back from the wearable. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do something really cool here. So we're going to go up and we're in wearable and then modules. OK, model loader. You want to go to prefabs and in here you'll actually see a 3D model of each of our Bose AR enabled wearables. So since we're using the Rondos, we're going to select the Rondo prefab and we're going to drag it into our scene. It's very small, so I would recommend to scale it to something like 40 by 40 by 40. Okay. 
And now I'm going to add component to the Rondo. And I'm, again, I'm going to go into Bose, Wearable, and then here, Rotation Matcher. And then I'm going to select 40 milliseconds. Now if I press play, we've connected and we have data being sent back on the head orientation. So it's that easy to get started with the Bose AR Unity SDK. Um, what this actually allows you to do, since we can track the user's head orientation, we can do cool things like spatial sound, or we can actually place sounds around the user and spatial blend them between the stereo speakers. But that's coming up in the next tutorial. Hope you like this one and catch you next time.